Memorial Day represents one day of nation awareness and reverence, honoring those Americans who died while defending our nation and its values. While we should honor these heroes every day for their profound contribution they have made to securing our nation's freedom, we should honor them especially on Memorial Day. In this time of unprecedented success and prosperity throughout the land, we ask all Americans to come together to recognize how fortunate we are to live in freedom and to observe a universal monument of remembrance on each Memorial Day. This memorial observance represents a simple and unifying way to commemorate our history and honor the struggle to protect our freedoms. This memorial embraces the bodies of servicemen and women from every one of our nation's wars. Every generation has borne and shared in the burden of defending the Republic and giving the succeeding generation a chance for freedom. We give thanks to all those who have stood their ground to defend our freedom, democracy, and human dignity, especially to those and their families who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Memorial Day. This is one of the most important days of the year for Americans. On this day, we show our deepest respect to all who have fallen in the service of our country by taking the time to honor them. Today is an act of national unity and remembrance. Today will also be the most expensive holiday on the calendar. Every hot dog, every burger, every spin around the lake or drinks with family and friends is a debt purchased by others. This is not about all who have served. That day comes in the fall. This one is in honor of all those who have paid in life and blood, whose moms never saw them again, <clears throat> whose dads wept in private, whose wives raised kids alone, and whose kids may only remember them from pictures. This isn't simply a day off. This is a day to remember that others paid with their blood an ultimate sacrifice for every free breath we ever get to take. If you look up memorial in the dictionary, you will find that the root word is memory. Another term for this observation is Remembrance Day. But again, the root word is memory. Brave Americans have risen generation after generation to defend our freedoms when challenged. From the Revolutionary War to today's ongoing war on terror. That is why we are here today, to pause, remember, and reflect on the price those brave men and women paid, who in time of national need raised their right hand, took the oath, and swore to defend this nation against all enemies, foreign and domestic, with their very life, if it came to that. We do not celebrate Memorial Day like we do the 4th of July. Rather, we observe it to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice to their country. Now, this is not to say that the day can't be observed with family gatherings, food, and fellowship. But part of that fellowship on this day should contain storytelling about family and friends who made that ultimate sacrifice. You may not know the story of a veteran who died in service to our country, but you may know his name. That individual can be remembered by simply calling their name out loud. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom of demonstration. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. And it is the soldier, 
who salutes the flag, who serves the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag. Please join me in a moment of silence for our departed comrades. On this special day, let us reflect upon the supreme sacrifice made by our fellow citizens lost in battle. All were proud members of our national community and all perished while protecting our country's honor and the American way of life. Let us share in the grief of the families whose loved ones remain unaccounted for or fell while <clears throat> defending this great nation. And let us pray each in our own way for peace throughout this land and across the globe. As beneficiaries of the freedom our troops secured, we can best pay tribute to their deeds by leaving to future generations an America that continues to be a people and beacon of justice and freedom for all people. Amen. Flag bearers, perform your duties. Attention. Present arms. 